नमस्ते एवरी वन आई एम प्रशांत सावंत एंड यू आर वॉचिंग द अनबॉक्सिंग एंड कम्प्लीट ओवर व्यू ऑफ द वन प्लस सेवन प्रो अलॉन्ग साइड विद वन प्लस सेवन टी प्रो वन प्लस सेवन टी प्रो मेकलर एन एडिशन एंड ऑक्सीजन ओवर टेन पॉइंट ओ बेस्ड ऑन गूगल एंड्रॉइड टेन मोबाइल ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सो लेट्स गो अड एंड चेक आउट दिस बॉक्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल गेट रिड ऑफ अ वन प्लस कम्युनिटी स्लीव विच होल्ड द बॉक्स टूगेदर नाउ वेन इट कम्स टू द we have this nice OnePlus 7 Pro logo on the front before we go ahead and open up the box let's check out the back it has 8 gigabytes of ram and 256 gigabytes of storage but it also comes in 6 gigabytes of ram and 128 gigabytes of storage as base variant and a top variant of 12 gigabytes of ram and 256 gigabytes of storage Now coming to new phones OnePlus 7T Pro only comes in 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage and OnePlus 7T Pro McLaren edition also comes only in 12 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage OnePlus 7 Pro has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 chipset it also supports Dolby Atmos whereas 7T Pro 7T Pro McLaren edition now have the brand new Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 plus processor it is 15% and faster graphics rendering and faster processing speeds than Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 mobile platforms and of course you can see the nebula blue color but apart from this it also comes in almond and mirror gray color whereas 70 pro comes in haze blue color and 70 pro mclaren edition comes in black with papaya orange color now without any further ado let's get right into it and open the box first thing you will see inside is another slim red box and it contains a transparent case which is of high quality i presume that tpu or translucent case also fits perfectly on a phone as it came directly from oneplus next you will see the sim tray ejection tool booklet which contains quick start guide logo sticker and red pamphlet which contains minor phone information on the back and on the front oneplus moto go beyond speed and also never settle this is what oneplus stand for always trying to innovate big with every new release and here is that phone which i'm going to set aside for just a second so we can dig into this box and see what else comes in the box we can see welcome an invitation letter from Pete Lau CEO and co-founder of OnePlus next you will see Wop charge 30 power adapter and Wop type C to USB 2.0 cable which comes in red and white color i really love the way this cable looks and this is by far my favorite charging cable and that's it in the same way OnePlus 7T Pro OnePlus 7T Pro McLaren edition box the first thing you will see inside is another slim red and orange box respectively and each one of them contains an invitation letter and a message from Pete Lau CEO and founder of OnePlus you then get logo sticker sim tray ejection tool two manuals one being quick start guide and the other one being safety information and warranty card Next you will see Wop Charge 30T power adapter which is 23% faster than previous Wop Charge 30 power adapter and Wop type C to USB 2.0 cable which comes in red and white color in 7T Pro and orange and black color in 7T Pro McLaren edition but not only that instead of the regular rubber coating we now have this nice braided cable and on top of that both the charger and the cable matches with OnePlus 7T Pro McLaren edition color theme which looks very cool similarly 7T Pro also has a transparent case in the box but 7T Pro McLaren edition gets a brand new McLaren style protective case instead of the TPU case in the box and made from alcantara a composite fabric that provides soft and subtle feel at the center and at the same time tough on either side for durability and an unparalleled grip from outside and when you flip the case and look inside you will see honeycomb design that creates tiny air pockets that helps with thermal and also with shock absorption 
I think this is the best case the phone can have and on top of that you get it inside the box and that's great. Now that you have seen everything in the box, let's go ahead and check out the phone. So we can get rid of the plastic and of course the sticker. And here is the OnePlus 7 Pro in nebula blue color. It looks really nice and premium. They are using multiple layers of glass to create a neat effect. So from certain angles, the phone looks glossy and shiny and from other angles, it looks matte and flat and sometimes fun to play with whenever you are in light. So this phone definitely looks like a high-end flagship phone. At the bottom, you can see OnePlus company name and their official logo in the middle. OnePlus 7 Pro comes in new haze blue color. It is little bit lighter than nebula blue and it also reflects more light than OnePlus 7 Pro. It comes in frosted or matte glass finished and it looks pretty sleek. And on the other hand, OnePlus 7T Pro McLaren Edition comes in black and papaya orange color and has a glossy finish. It also has a unique texture beneath the glass and their official logo in the middle. And you can also see McLaren branding at the bottom. And both of them look very nice and premium. Design wise, all three phones look pretty much identical. On front screen, you get a pre-applied screen protector, which does seems to be of good quality. We got curved 3D Corning Gorilla Gas 5 panels on the front and back of the phone, but the back does have more of a matte finish. It also has a polyester aluminum frame around the phone, which is quite sturdy and premium. The front and back glass curved uniformly around the frame and it looks neat too. Phone's left side. We have a super useful three stage alert slider and below that is a power on off button and on the right side of the phone we have a volume rocker. The bottom of the phone we have dual nano slim slot, USB type C port and primary mic and stereo speaker. This speaker grill and mic at the bottom and earpiece and secondary mic on the top combined makes the dual stereo speaker which delivers crystal clear sound for a captivating and immersive listening experience. And top of the phone, we have a pop-up camera. So now let's talk about the cameras. The front facing pop-up camera has a 16 megapixel sensor with an f2.0 aperture. And this camera gets electronic image stabilization. OnePlus 7 Pro's pop-up camera module does work really well. You open up the camera app and switch to the front camera and it opens extremely quick and there you go, you are ready to take a selfie. OnePlus claims that you could take over 150 selfies every day for 5.5 years without wearing down the camera unit. That means OnePlus 7 Pro's front facing pop-up camera with stand sliding out up to 300,000 times without any structural damage or malfunction. OnePlus 7 Pro has a smart drop protection feature. That means the pop-up camera will use its gyroscope to sense if it is in free fall and automatically retract the camera so it doesn't get damaged. OnePlus 7 Pro's pop-up camera also features an anti-dust mechanism to keep everyday dust and dirt out of your device. Moreover, OnePlus has released the video showing how durable and resistant this front-facing camera is by lifting a 22.3 kg cement brick. And also many people don't use the front-facing camera that much, so I think it is going to be okay for most people. Apart from this, the front-facing pop-up camera also has fixed focus, time-lapse, face unlock, HDR, screen flash and face retouching features. OnePlus 7 Pro has the triple rear facing camera setup. The primary camera is a 48 megapixel sensor with 7p lens and f1.6 aperture. Each pixel has a size of 0.8 micron and it also supports dual optical image stabilization. The ultra wide angle lens is a 16 megapixel sensor and f2.2 aperture and also a 17 millimeter lens with 117 degrees field of view. It is perfect for capturing landscape photos. And finally, the telephoto lens is an 8 megapixel sensor and f2.4 aperture with 3x optical zoom support. It will help us to capture distant images in detail. 
and this camera also gets optical image stabilization. Rear facing camera also has dual LED flash, multi autofocus, time lapse, video editor, ultra shot, nightscape, studio lighting, portrait, pro mode, panorama, HDR, AI scene detection, and raw image features. OnePlus calls the main camera as the ultra clear camera. Because this 48 megapixel camera uses pixel binning to combine information from 4 pixels into 1 pixel and produce sharp, vibrant and colorful images and holds a lot of details, especially in the bright daylight conditions. But primary camera captures 12 megapixel images by default. For some reason, if you want to capture high resolution images, you can switch to 48 megapixel from a pro mode. Also, in the Pro mode, you can manually adjust settings like ISO, white balance, shutter speed, focus and exposure according to your liking. And that will help you to take fantastic photos in any lighting conditions. Sun Pro's 3x telephoto lens has a longer focal range than 2x of most flagship phones so that you get little closer to your subject than other smartphones. However, at 8 megapixel, the images from this camera do look little soft. It would have been better with 12 or 16 megapixel sensor, so it could have captured sharp and detailed images in different lighting conditions. And lastly, the ultra wide angle lens. It is nice to have an ultra wide angle lens on a phone since it gives us a very different perspective of the scene. But white images from the phone are soft and not as detailed as the one from the primary lens, especially around the edges. If you zoom in on the images, it start losing details very quickly. With Android 10 software update, 7 Pro can shoot videos from the ultra wide angle lens and also improve the performance of the stock camera app that comes with the phone. OnePlus 7 Pro can shoot amazing 4K video at 60 or 30 frames per second and 1080p videos at 60 or 30 frames per second with one of the best stabilization I have ever seen on the smartphone. With slow motion, you can record 1080p video at 240fps or 720p video at 480fps for top-notch cinematic shot. OnePlus 7T Pro, OnePlus 7T Pro McLaren Edition and after Oxygen OS 10.0 update based on the latest Android 10, OnePlus 7 Pro also with slow motion mode can shoot 720p video at 920 frames per second. One physical difference that you will notice in OnePlus 7T Pro and 7T Pro McLaren Edition if you look besides the rear camera module. The laser autofocus is now outside over to the left hand side of the camera module instead of inside. In 70 Pro and 70 Pro McLaren Edition, they have added a little motor to the main camera for the new macro mode. So you can get as close as 2.5 cm from your subject and it will still focus without any problem. So you can take macro images. So that's pretty much the only physical difference between 7 Pro and these two new phones. Everything else in the camera seems the same. Portrait shots are more natural and professional from portrait mode while progressively blurring the background for a gentle yet powerful effect. Shots from portrait mode are pleasing, even though it is using telephoto lens rather than primary lens. OnePlus 7 Pro includes a nightscape mode, so you can take beautiful photos in the night. It reduces the overall noise and gives sharp and also detailed images, even though this mode is not as good as other competitors. After latest Android 10, we can now also shoot video with ultra wide angle lens in nightscape mode. But still OnePlus needs to do lot of work in regards to camera software. However, the camera's hardware is pretty good, but not the best. You can also try Google Camera App APK to enhance your camera experience. OnePlus 7 Pro is tall with a 19.5 is to 9 aspect ratio and it also weighs 206 grams. By the way, this is one of the thickest flagship phones and it feels chunky and heavy in the hand, especially if you have a case on it. But otherwise, it looks attractively thin, graceful and stylish. OnePlus 7 Pro has 6.67 inch Quad HD Plus Fluid AMOLED display with a 90Hz refresh rate. By the way, it is the world's first AMOLED display with a 90Hz refresh rate on a smartphone, which delivers a fluid viewing experience that makes every tab, swipe and button press faster and smoother. OnePlus 7 Pro has the best display I have ever seen on the smartphone. It has no notch, no hole punch, no weird cutout on the screen and in fact, the display not only goes edge to edge but it also curves around the sides 
that makes the phone's tiny bezels look even thinner than they are and therefore it offers a high screen to body ratio which delivers a truly premium viewing experience whether you are gaming watching a movie or browsing a web apart from this it is also certified by display mat the world's foremost display quality testing body awarded an a plus score to one plus seven pro which is the highest possible score a phone can receive Apart from above features, it also has HDR10+, plus, night mode, reading mode, video enhancer, which definitely enhance your overall experience. OnePlus 7 Pro comes with Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 mobile platform. It has cutting-edge octa-core cryo 7 nanometer processor. Overall, it is 45% faster and consumes 20% less power over its predecessor Qualcomm Snapdragon 845. And Adreno 640 GPU delivers a 20% performance increase and also 30% more power efficient than its previous generation GPU. Moreover, with an increased focus on AI, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 adapts to the way you use your phone and gives you a truly fast and smooth smartphone experience. And internally we do have few differences as mentioned previously 70 Pro and 70 Pro McLaurin Edition now have a brand new Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus processor. It is 15% faster graphics rendering and faster processing speeds than Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 mobile platforms. <music> OnePlus 7 Pro is backed by 4000 mAh battery. Warp Charge 30 will charge up close to 50% of 4000 mAh battery in about 20 minutes. Because Warp Charge 30 power adapter uses a 5V 6A low voltage high current charging solution. But unfortunately, if you are not using Warp Charge 30 power adapter or car charger with Warp Type-C to USB 2.0 cable, then you are not going to get that speed and it will only charge around 7 watts. So whenever you are going out, you need to carry one plus proprietary charger and special cable together to get that fast charging. Whereas there are very few differences between these phones and technically one of the differences is in the battery. OnePlus 7T Pro and OnePlus 7T Pro McLaren Edition have a slightly larger battery that is 4085 mAh battery when compared to the 4000 mAh battery on the OnePlus 7 Pro. And above all, the phone isolates heat generated while charging and also uses 10 layers liquid cooling system so that the phone doesn't get hot while charging or during long system intense gaming sessions. <music> Haptic vibration is something which is not very apparent, but it is the one thing that enhances the smartphone experience by a margin. OnePlus have mentioned that they have worked a lot on haptic feedback motor and you actually feel when using the OnePlus 7 Pro, the experience feels much more premium. Subtle vibrations help while typing and gaming. The new vibration motor enhances your experience by allowing you to interact with your phone on a more tactile level. OnePlus 7 Pro has face unlock which is not fast as it used to be because of front facing pop up camera but not even terribly slow either. However, since the face unlock isn't that fast and secure, you can use optical in display fingerprint sensor instead. It is much fast and accurate. This is because OnePlus has not only increased the size of the sensor but also used three element lens and a new algorithm. And therefore, it unlocks your device in just 0.21 seconds. The more you use screen unlock, the faster your device unlocks. If you want to go a step further, you can turn off animations completely. For example, like unlocking the screen. See how there is no animation there. I turn that off myself because they had little electrical animation going on there. But in reality, it makes it feel slower. It is important to know that some of it is perception and some of it is reality. OnePlus had worked on small details like horizon light. 
notification horizon light will appear on the off screen when you receive any notifications. Small details like this enhance user experience. After the latest Android 10 software updates now, we can change the notification horizon light in this phones to blue, red, gold, purple color and in case of 70 Pro McLaren edition, we also get papaya orange color. There is no always on display on the OnePlus 7 Pro. Instead, there is an ambient display that appears if you tap the screen or pick up your phone when the screen is off. In ambient display, you can choose clock style and also whether notification horizon edge light should appear on the screen or not as and when you receive notifications. Whereas in new Oxygen OS 10.0, they have improved ambient display. Now within the ambient display, there is also a new feature called smart display, which provides intelligent information like music details for currently playing song, upcoming calendar events, weather, specific times, locations and more. In OnePlus 7 Pro, you get a built-in screen recorder which not only allow full screen recording without any watermark but also allow you to choose audio input. User can toggle between Microsoft Audio or direct internal audio from 7 Pro. Moreover, it does not have any time limit and you can also choose your desired resolution and bitrate. I think this is one of the useful features that every smartphone should have. I like 7 Pro screen recorder and I do see myself using this feature. After the latest Android 10 software updates, we can now record screen in 4K and also set frames to your liking in the new number of frames option. OnePlus have developed a feature called RAM Boost which uses the available RAM on your smartphone to preload your most frequently used apps and games. So you can quickly load apps and switch between them faster than ever. In fact, you can run up to 64 apps simultaneously with the RAM Boost feature. With OnePlus 7 Pro's 12GB of RAM, you never need to worry about glitches or slowing your device down. It will boost your performance and give you a fast and smooth smartphone experience. OnePlus 7 Pro is the first mainstream smartphone in the world to have UFS 3.0 technology which increases sequential read and write speed by up to 79% than UFS 2.1 technology and making it quicker than ever to install and open apps, download files or transfer data. It simply means that now you can quickly transfer a movie to your phone or from your phone you can quickly send holiday photos to your laptop. If you are really into a game, then there is also a fanatic mode which will help us build an even stricter version of a gaming mode that smartly allocates resources while eliminating distractions. That means it blocks all incoming calls, notifications, restrict background tasks and even stop your secondary sim from working except for the clock, timer and low battery warning and turns your phone into a professional gaming device for an unparalleled gaming experience. Also features like 90Hz refresh rate, new haptic vibration motor, 10 layers liquid cooling system, RAM boost, etc. also enhances your gaming experience. OnePlus 7 Pro's Night Mode 2.0 protect your vision by automatically adjusting color temperature and brightness of the screen. Also, Fluid AMOLED display automatically filters out blue light for ensuring a healthy and comfortable viewing experience. Apart from night mode, there is also a reading mode which turns the screen black and white for more comfortable reading. In the latest Oxygen OS 10.0, the reading mode has two effects. We can choose a brand new chromatic effect which will dim the screen down to reduce the color. And the second effect was actually in the previous Android version, now comes with a new mono effect name which removes the color from the screen. That means the screen turns to black and white. OnePlus have developed a new feature to help the user build the healthier smartphone habits and they called it as Zen Mode. Zen Mode helps you unplug and take a break from your smartphone for 20 minutes and connect to the world around you. Zen Mode forces you out of your smartphone. 
it disables everything aside from the camera and emergency calls for 20 minutes. This feature is really good for those seriously addicted to their smartphone. The phone automatically suggests a Zen mode if you have been gaming for more than 2 hours, though it is up to you to turn it off or not. OnePlus has rightly said that technology should serve you, not the other way around. In the new Oxygen OS 10.0, you can now unplug and take a break from your smartphone, not just only for default 20 minutes, but also for 30, 40 and 60 minutes. OnePlus 7 Pro does not have an official IP certification. And the argument is that it would raise the price of each phone by $30. And most warranties don't cover water damage, even if the phone is IP certified. And also, they had added all the rubbers and the seals to the phone, but not paid for independent testing because they just wanted to pass down the cost to consumers. Moreover, OnePlus has even posted a video of dropping a phone in a bucket and also reached out to the people and claiming that 7 Pro is waterproof and it is safe to flash water on it or go out on the rain. Now, many content creator has independently done the water resistant test and every time 7 Pro has passed the water resistant test. Therefore, I think now many people would be satisfied with it. As we know, OnePlus always try to deliver the phone that matches the competitors on specs and beat them on price. But this year, OnePlus have just gone all out and made a flagship phone. And I think they have succeeded in it. OnePlus as a company not only made the most important phone, but also the most expensive phone of all time by far. And I think they have done a stunning job. Therefore, OnePlus 7 Pro starts at 48,999 rupees in India and 669 dollars in the US for the base model and goes up to 57,999 rupees in India and 749 dollars in the US for their top model. But it is still cheaper than the competition. But after the release of OnePlus 7T Pro and 7T Pro McLaren Edition, prices of all three models of 7 Pro has fallen. So for more up-to-date pricing information, please check the description. Now the brand new OnePlus 7T Pro comes only in 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage at 53,999 rupees. And 7T Pro McLaren Edition comes in 12GB of RAM and 256GB of storage at 58,999 rupees in India. OnePlus Bullets Wireless 2 year phone does not come with OnePlus 7 Pro's box, but they do look really nice and apparently they also sound much better than previous generation. So if you are planning to buy OnePlus 7, 7 Pro, 7T, 7T Pro, 7T Pro, McLaren Edition and their accessories like OnePlus Bullets wireless 2 year phones, warp charge 30 car charger, carbon and sandstone protective case etc. Then please check the description for more information and useful links. It will save time and effort and help you one way or the other. I hope you enjoyed the video. So please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the little bell right next to it so that you don't miss any of the goodness that I share on this channel. Also be sure to share, like and drop a comment below as well and let me know what you think of OnePlus 7 Pro, 7T Pro and 7T Pro McLaren edition. And as always thank you for watching. I am Prashant Savant and I will see you next time.